In this tutorial, we will learn how to create topo surface in Revit. Topo surface is a short form of topographic surface. This topographic surface represents a piece of land and its features such as valleys, ridges, water bodies and so on. Our project site is located on a piece of land that may be flat or sloping and may have features that I have just described. Let's start with a new project. To create a topo surface, I will need to switch to site view here. This one is a survey point overlapping with project base point. I leave them here unchanged for now. I'll switch to massing and site tab here and then select the topo surface tool. As I click on this tool, the context menu changes over to modify slash edit surface tab. I'll select place points tool. Now this e places points and each of these points represents an elevation above a reference point. By default, this reference point is the internal base point of Revit and this base point was indicated by overlap overlapping project and survey base points we saw earlier. In the options bar here we see there is an option to type out the elevation value uh, this value will be for the point that I am going to place. There is also a drop down. This only shows one option that is the absolute elevation at the moment. We will have a look at it in just a moment a little later. For now, I will place these points here at these corners. As I place these points, a surface starts getting formed and this happens the moment I place the third point. I will now hit the finish button to complete the modeling of the topo surface. We have now created a flat topo surface. As the surface is still selected, the properties show projected area and surface area and allows us to specify material for this topo surface. Let me now edit the topo surface and add some more points. This time I will place these points with an elevation. Notice now there is also an additional option, the second option, which says relative to surface. 
This becomes available only after the surface was initially created. I will now place a few points using absolute elevation option and also place a few other points with relative to surface option. As I place these points with the elevation value, automatically the contour lines start getting formed. Once I am done, I will just hit the finish button to finish editing the topo surface. This now creates the 3D topo surface. We will just explore this surface and maybe cut a section to see how uh, the surface is.